our first error is the error of single entry. An error of single entry is made when a transaction is only recorded in one account instead of two accounts. So for instance, our purchases is debited with 640 but nothing is recorded in the bank account. So our double entry principle is not followed with this error. Now let's have a look at an example. Wages paid by cash, 618 dollars, was only recorded in the wages account. So now how would this look like? Wages was debited with 680, but nothing is entered in the cash account. So now our first step would be to open a suspense account. So on the credit side, we would enter the difference as per trial balance 680 because that is the amount that the trial balance will be missing on the credit side. Now let's have a look at how we would record this in our general journal. We would always start with a date which is 31 then we would debit our suspense account and then credit our cash account and our narration will be cash paid for wages only recorded in the wages account error now corrected. Now let's have a look at how we would correct this in our ledger. Well, how this was recorded was we debited wages with 680. We did not have a credit entry so we opened a suspense account of 680. And now to correct this error we will do the following. We debit our suspense account in order to return the balance of the suspense account to zero and then we'll credit our cash account so that the two entries which remain is the debit balance of wages and the credit balance of cash for 680. Let's have a look at how this will affect our trial balance. Well firstly our incorrect trial balance will show that there's a difference of 680 on the credit side. So now what we did was we had to open a suspense account because the debit and credit side of our trial balance was not equal. And so we add our suspense account with a credit balance and that should make our trial balance balance. And as you can see our debit and credit side are equal. Now for our corrected trial balance our totals agree but now we need to correct our error. Since there was no entry in cash we will credit cash just like we did in our general journal and in our general ledger and then we'll debit our suspense account to return the suspense account's balance to zero and now our trial balance balances with the correct total. Let's have a look at the next error. 